Well, I got a question on the website that says, how do you find the answer to question number nine on quiz four? And that question says, you have been asked to dilute and repackage one liter of a 20% solution into one pint bottles and then uh, how many uh, oh five percent solution into the one pint bottles that helps all right and so um, this is a little bit more complicated than uh, a lot of the other questions on these exams it's a dilution question and um, my take is that you can do it using an allegation. You can do it using proportions math, but not in the form that you use for all the other calculations. So to do this calculation, I recommend just um, putting together an algebra formula of C1 V1 equals C2 V2. And what that's going to look like when you plug in all of these numbers is C1V1 is the concentration and volume that we have to work with. So C1 is 20%, which we'll write as 0 0.20. V1 is 1 liter. And we're going to convert that right away into 1,000 milliliters so that our answer shows up in um, milliliters. And then C2V2 is what we desire as our final concentration, which is 5%, which is 0 0.05. And volume two is, um, it's actually one pint bottles, but it's unknown because it's going to be several of those one pint bottles. So that is our unknown, and we'll call that X. All right, so we'll go ahead and do the math here. We multiply these two, what's in these two parentheses brackets, together, so we get, um, oops, not, not a decimal, it's actually 200 equals 0.05x. So from this point, what we need to do is isolate this x, so we're going to divide both sides by the coefficient of x, which is 0.05. So when we do the math, 200 divided by 0 0.05 is 4,000. And then when we divide 0.05x by 0.05, it isolates the x. So x equals 4,000. And that's actually 4,000 milliliters. All right, so then when we um, do our next conversion from milliliters to um, pints, each pint has 480 milliliters. So we're going to divide 4,000 milliliters by 480. And what that gives us is 8.33 pints. And so this is why the answer is you could fill eight bottles. You could actually fill eight and a third, but the question asks how many pint bottles could be filled. So the answer there is this 8. So this is the quickest and easiest way to do this problem. And so if you can just remember this formula right here that you want to use for um, dilution. You can use it for other types of questions as well, but for dilution questions it seems to work the best.